This video supported in part by... It's just a VR YouTube channel. Have you ever wanted to fly a 1940s era World War plane, but just didn't know how to do it without spending tons of money? What if I told you you only had to spend a quarter? Let's go check it out right after this. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no punts. Not allowed if you're a grown up. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am George and I am a Gen X Grown Up. New Wave Toys has an excellent line of 1-6 scale arcade units. They range the gambit, everything from Tempest to Dragon's Lair. You just can't imagine. Street Fighter 2, it's just awesome. Recently, they have just released the 1942 arcade cabinet, and I cannot wait to check it out. So let's go to the bench right now. The New Wave Toys replicate 1942 arcade cabinet. I am so happy to get a chance to take a look at this right out of the box. I love that this is the 1942 and the 1943 Battle of Midway game. The limited edition 12 inch play scale arcade machine. I have also been given apparently a bonus 1943 mini arcade stick for two player gameplay. I don't know how you can beat that. That's pretty daggum awesome. I've been looking forward to reviewing this one for a long time. They sent us an email, said, hey, we've got this new cabinet coming out. Would you guys like to do a review? Of course, this being one of my favorite games from back in the day, I said, yes, I would love to review this game. And they sent it out to us free of charge. That will in no way affect my review of this cabinet. But considering how much I love the game, I'm probably already affected. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of the box. We got some beautiful artwork. Let's see, replicate amusements right up here on the side. We've got a real arcade action joystick, includes two arcade games as we talked about. This is licensed by Capcom. I think that's very important with a lot of these devices out there that they're actually licensed. I do notice one thing though, here, limited edition 11 inch play scale arcade machine. And over here, limited edition 12 inch play scale arcade machine. I'm not really sure if they're trying to gain an extra inch on us somewhere, but you know, I don't really care. I'm pretty happy. Uh, let's take a look at the back here. Uh, bring home play scale arcade action. Uh, features a replica 1942 Romstar Capcom Lowboy arcade machine in one sixth scale. That's very important. The New Wave Toys replicate machines are all one sixth scale. They've got some awesome ones. You might be able to see really small down here. They've got tiny little 1942. That's the new one. Then you've got some asteroids. My favorite Dragon's Lair down there. John's favorite Street Fighter 2. They've got a Tempest machine and a Centipede. And apparently they have some plans for some other cabinets. Maybe you guys can write in the comments based on those shapes what you think those cabinets might be. 1943 mini arcade stick, top secret sticker, replica 1942 operator's manual. Those are usually really cool. Uh, we've got a micro USB charge cable and a mini metal arcade tokens. They always give you these little arcade tokens that you can use uh, just as like nostalgic display pieces for their machines. Well, I think it's about enough looking at the box. I really want to take a look at this thing. So let's get this thing opened up and see what we've got. Ooh, okay, all right. And normally, John would take this instruction manual and chuck it, but I'm not gonna do that because I really want to take a look. I love the little sticker that's right there up front. Of course, we've got the little tokens. Oh boy, this thing is very pretty. Man, man, this is packed really, really well. Oh, man, oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. That is some arcade goodness right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna tear off the little sticky from the marquee and from the play screen. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this little gold coin door here. That's where I can put my sticker. It's also got some press up on rocker button to add credits. Press down on rocker button to get into the menu. There's our side art, very pretty. I love how they've kind of distressed it as part of this wood grain, that's really nice. I can't wait to get to play this, so why wait? Let's go ahead and get to playing. Inside that box, I didn't find the little hidden compartment, but I finally did right in between shooting that video and this one, and as you can see, there is the extra 1943 controller. Very cool, it's got your little buttons here, it's got the two player start, 
nice little round top joystick. It's actually a little bit taller than the one on the arcade cabinet, which is interesting. Got two little buttons back over here, some kind of configuration things, I'm sure, plus the USB uh, cable connection in order to plug it into the back of the main unit. They did provide two cables, one of which I am using to plug into my uh, USB charger that they also sell on the New Wave Toys Replicate website. It's a great little addition to uh, any mini arcade library. It's really awesome. It gives an authentic feel. Notice one thing. Here's the volume control. That's standard. That's what they've always had. But this is their new power button on this machine. I'm not a big fan of this button, and I'm going to show you why when we get ready to start. Down here, we've got our speakers. And way down here at the bottom, you can see we've got our USB plug cables, our HDMI, and this is where I've got the charge cable plugged in. We've got that marquee that's going to light up once we turn it on, and this is what I was talking about. So you just press the button once, and now you wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 seconds before this thing powers on. I held that button down for quite a while the first couple of times trying to turn this machine on because I just wasn't sure what was going on. There's no clicky feel to that button. It's just a spring behind it. So you press it and then you just wait. Um, I wasn't sure if it was a hold to start or what. Uh, it's not even really explained real well in the manual. It just says, you know, press the power on button. It doesn't give you any idea that it's that long of a delay. Now, granted, I received a copy of this arcade cabinet from New Wave, so this may be like one of their pre-production models. Maybe that's something that's been fixed in the models that they're selling now on the website. So, but this our little arcade cabinet, it certainly looks cool. You can see we've got all different kinds of uh, top five ranking scores. It'll be interesting to see if those persist. I have a feeling that they may not, but we'll just go ahead and see. So down here at the bottom, let's go into the menu first. All right, so the first thing up is game selection. If we want to, we can go into this and we can choose between 43 or 42, either way. Uh, we've got difficulty, you got the marquee light, you can turn it on or off. You've got a backlight here. This is a backlight for the screen, so you can lower it way down. Whoop. Or you can go way up. Player one, player two switch. This is for use with this. If you would prefer to play with this controller as opposed to the controllers on the deck here, you can toggle that on and then plug this in and use it that way as your main player one controller. Otherwise, it's always the player two controller. Replicate scan lines on or off. I'm going to leave them off just because I want to play this unit the way it was shipped to me. You got your starting lives. Three, five, or two or one. So we're gonna go with three, that was the standard. Bonus lives, you got 20, 80, 80. Let's see, we can go to 20, 100, 100, or 30, 80, 80, 30, 100, 100. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the 20, 80, 80 because that's where it was set when we got the unit, like I said. Just press down on this and now we're back in the game. All right, let's go ahead and add some coins. That's pressing up on the rocker. <laughs> Love that coin sound on 1942. <laughs> All right, we're going to play one player. I am terrible at this game, so please don't write in and say how bad I am because I already know. Oh, right into a bullet. Three ships down, first stage. <laughs> Shot down 41, my percentage was only 68%. Ugh. There is a dot right there on my screen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. And it's really annoying. I think it's underneath the plexi. I tried to clean the plexi before I started playing. Oh, there's a power up. Gotta get the power. Oh, and of course we're dead right away. All right. Let's uh, switch back over to the menu and check out 1943. Here we are, 1943, the Battle of Midway. Oh, let's see if we can do any better with this one. I don't have any high hopes. 
Ooh, different coin sound. May you fight bravely. in this one. What in the world was that? Oh, I'm almost dead. That's what that sound means. I've been getting hit everywhere. Oh, that's like... Oh! Visual contact with service forces. I made it! I'm going to go ahead and continue. I know John says don't ever continue, but we want to see a little bit more of this one. Whoa! I like that. I wish I had a power up right now. I really do enjoy the feel of the control stick and the buttons, though. I know that what's going on right now has nothing to do with anything but my inept gameplay, but for one time, I'm not going to complain about the controller. Alright, I don't think I need to continue anymore. It's obviously a super fun arcade cabinet. It's well done, well designed. I really love it. Man, that game had me sweating up a storm. What a fun arcade game from New Wave Toys on their Replicade line. 1942 is awesome. 1943 was awesome. I love the ports of the ROMs. Of course, they're not quite the original arcade ROMs, but they're as close as you're going to get. I mean, with all the licensing and work that they did with Capcom, obviously they're bringing you the original arcade ROMs as best as they can provide them to you in this new unit, which is totally awesome. Uh, let me think a little bit about my rating while I think about some of the likes and dislikes. So, don't like that power button, don't like that power up delay. Love the arcade stick, love the arcade buttons on the deck, love the little extra mini arcade stick that you get in the box. You get the two cables, one to plug that in, one to charge your unit with. Uh, you also have the option of plugging this into HDMI, which is really cool. Uh, you've got real authentic arcade play in two different games. On our token scale, out of five tokens, I think I probably am going to give this three and three quarters out of five tokens. It is a very fun, very solid effort. I think that if you really enjoyed 1942 or 1943 in the arcade, you can't go wrong by picking up this cabinet from New Wave Toys. I think that if you're going to pick up a 1-6 scale arcade cabinet, you really can't go wrong with New Wave. So there you have it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that YouTube knows <laughs> that you enjoyed this video. And we will see you again here at Gen X Growing Up next time. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.